All right, so I was reading Tribes this morning by Seth Godin, and he was talking about how as a leader, you don't have to be um, the highest person in the company. In fact, you could be the lowest person on the totem pole. Uh, all that it takes is this willingness to be a leader and to lead. Leadership has nothing to do really with position um, formally or with, uh, with anything like that. So, so it reminded me of this great story and it's in a book called the Book of Mormon, right? I, I was raised LDS, and whether or not the book is true is completely irrelevant to me because I could care less. Like, I honestly don't care. What matters to me is the principles that are in it that are useful and that are true. So one of the things in it is this story. Might be true, might not be. There was this guy named Ammon. And Ammon was this guy who decided he was going to go and help people, benefit people, and he was going to go to these people that hated his people and just serve them. And so he goes to these people, goes to their king, says, hey, I'm here to serve you. And the king's like, hey, cool. Why don't I hook you up with one of my daughters? You can have my, one of my daughters. I'll just give her to you. She's like property. And he was like, no, 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 thank you. I'm not here to like hook up with your daughter. I just want to serve. So he's like, okay, I'll give you a job. So he gave him a job at tending the flocks of the king. And there were some other men that were already tending the flocks of the king. And then what happened is these robbers came. They started like scattering the flocks so they could steal, you know, these flock, these sheep or whatever they were. And um, then the men instantly were like paralyzed with fear. All these guys, Ammon looks at them and he sees them. They said they started crying because they feared for their lives. Like, here's a bunch of men. They're down on the ground just like they believe they're going to die. Because that's what, what the king did is killed the people that did not succeed before. That the robbers had scattered the flocks of. He's like, you take care of these flocks. They get scattered or I kill you because that's what I, I do. So these men were crying, they're crying, Ammon's looking at them going, and he got excited. He got excited because he saw an opportunity. Because he was like, all right, this is, I can handle this. This isn't that big of a problem. He had already decided to serve. And he, was, he had a different mindset and a different perspective than these other men. And he saw the problem and he had a solution. He came up with a solution and he then went to these men. He's like, hey, guys, be excited. Let's have some joy. Like, this is going to be awesome. What we're going to do is we are going to be the first guys that didn't get killed by the king for the flocks getting scattered because we're going to go get the flocks back. So let's all work as a team. Let's hustle our butts and let's get these flocks and let's go all in because otherwise your life's on the line. So you can either lay there crying and choose to just die or we can work our butts off and go get it. So what did Ammon do? They, they worked on scattering the flocks. Ammon went up against these robbers and he was confident that he could take these guys on. He saw them as weak. He whipped out his sword. He chopped off these dudes' arms. He killed, he like took care of these guys. He was like, no sweat. Because they were, they were robbers. So he took care of them. He was a warrior. He was willing to fight for, to save these other men. And he was a, willing to do that to prove to them that he was all in, that he wanted to be part of their universe and serve them and benefit them. So here are the things that I learned about, from this story about being a leader. So I don't know if you can see this, but I wrote these down. So first, you have to make a choice to serve. That you need a cause, some sort of purpose. And once you have, uh, you've decided to serve other people, serve the group you're a part of, whatever that might be, or serve others around you. As soon as you see a problem, you can then come up with a solution. Now, if you see that people are open and destitute and willing or in need of a solution, all you have to do then is enroll others in your vision. Hey guys. Here's a way out. I have a plan. All you need to do is offer your solution and get them excited and roll them in your vision. How do you enroll other people in your vision? Well, you point out an alternative future, right? You don't have to die or you don't have to fail or your company doesn't have to fall apart or you don't have to live in squalor and stress or whatever it might be. And then you give directions how. He, was, he just instantly took leadership. He was the new guy. 
he had no position, no status. He came in and he was like, hey, I'm tending the flocks for the king. I'm here with you guys. And they all started crying, thought they were going to die. And he was like, hey, guys, let's do this. Instantly, he was a leader. And he went on to become, and that showed that he was a leader. So he went on to, you know, his goal was to convert and share the, the gospel. So he converted the king and everybody thought he had the power of God with him because he had this power within him, this confidence within him to step up, show up and be a leader. So what do you, what can you take away from this is be sure to enroll other people in your vision. Hey, and I'm out. Jason Hole, Open Potion, uh, website design, door grow if you need property management, marketing, you want to th grow, thrive your business, and gather kudos for small business reputation. And it's Saturday, so I'm hanging out with my three-year-old. But I wanted to share what I learned this morning in my studies. Thanks.